Today we are gonna talk about how to decorate a Scandinavian style home. Hi everyone, welcome to Lifestyle C. It's Sangun. I'm an interior designer and I create videos about poetic interior design and lifestyle. As an interior designer, creating a Scandinavian style home is probably the most common request from my clients. And I think that Scandinavian style is a great concept that goes well with almost every apartment situation and in particular it's an excellent concept for rental homes I have a question for you guys how would you describe a Scandi style home? please let me know your ideas for this in the comments below recently I went to Stockholm Design Week and I let myself soak in the Scandi designs and lifestyle although it was a short trip it was very intense because many Scandinavian brands took part in the event. Therefore, I got tons of new inspiration and discovered new Scandi design trends. So today, I want to give you guys tips on how to achieve a Scandinavian style home featuring my favorite Scandi design brands and new trends. Let's dive into 10 design aspects of Scandi style homes. Just disclaimer, since this video features new trends from the Stockholm Furniture and Life Fair, some elements might sound a bit new to some of you guys. Scandinavian countries have long and dark winter seasons, so Scandinavians want to embrace the light in their homes as much as possible. As a result, you see a lot of white and bright colors in their homes, white walls, floors, and furniture. During the design week, I stayed at an Airbnb, and the apartment I stayed in was exactly what I imagined as a Scandinavian home white walls and flooring incorporating like gray and blue some pieces of a natural wood furniture and many ambient lighting pieces i saw a lot of bright wood flooring in many places such as whitewashed hardwood flooring and white painted flooring i know that it's not common in most apartment situations outside of scandinavia so my suggestion is getting a large size bright color carpet and grounding it in the room a rug with beige like gray or melange of bright colors and short fibers would be the best choice it will brighten up your room and make it cozy if you feel that white is too cold for you try beige or light gray beige is a huge trend at the moment but i think that it's also timeless so imagine you have a bright toned floor and paint the walls with beige then set other pieces of furniture, accessories, and fabric items in a similar color group. A monochromatic color palette will make your space calm and you can achieve a cohesive look. I recommend you to play with different texture within your color scheme. For example, if you wanna keep your sofa area calm and relaxing, Get different textured pillows that come with linen, waffle effect fabric, booklet, etc. and then layer them carefully. Also, you can bring rich texture to the walls, applying mineral or lime wash paint. Wood brings natural and warm texture. Don't be afraid to mix different woods. But keep in mind the proportions and choose the main wood tone that matches the concept and color palette. I really loved the night atmosphere of Stockholm because people lit up their space with ambient lighting, especially with the lamps put on the window sills. Scandinavians plan different lighting sources in one room. 
the main ceiling lights were sconces, indirect cabinet lighting, table lamps, etc. Once you set various lighting sources in a room, you can control them depending on your moods and activities. For the scandy look, it's better to have bright to mid-tone wood like spruce, ash, birch, or oak rather than dark wood. You can bring wood furniture like tables, chairs, cabinets, or decor pieces such as trays, bowls, and sculptural objects. Don't be afraid to bring some colors into your life. If you wanna stay safe but have a bit of courage, you can use soft pastel colors such as mint green, sky blue, coral for small items like decor objects, vases, pillows, or blankets. However, you can also take some bold actions with large items and I think replacing cabinet doors is quite brilliant. There are some brands specialized for IKEA furniture to achieve a more customized look. You can keep the body of IKEA furniture but get different doors, side panels, countertops, and handles from those companies. Scandinavians love the power of simplicity. They want their home to feel like a sanctuary and love to have well-made and clean yet soft line furniture that makes their home cozy yet minimal. It sounds obvious, but one of my tips for achieving a Scandi aesthetic home is getting furniture that is designed and made in Scandinavian countries. There are lots of well-made, timeless furniture with a reasonable price tag when we think of the cost per use. In terms of lifespan, it can be a good investment, for example, timeless design dining chairs. A few years ago, geometric shapes and patterns represented Scandinavian designs. That's still true, but the decor trend is slowly moving towards organic or sculptural forms. Many Scandinavian designs are inspired by nature, and this year I saw a lot of organic shape designs and furthermore imperfect character objects. Freely formed handmade vases, roughly trimmed marble pieces, etc. This time I found a lot of sculptural branch arrangements and sparse leaves and flowers. A few years ago, the huge trend was indoor jungle or urban jungle. But plants and flowers are being used more like art pieces these days. So let's tap into your poetic emotion and create a beautiful scene for your contemporary Scandi home. Huga is a Danish and Norwegian word for a mood of coziness and comfortable conviviality with feelings of wellness and contentment. Referring to Wikipedia, make at least one cozy corner in your apartment. Put a low sitting armchair with soft pillows and blankets. Light up some candles, drink your hot tea while you are reading a book or listening to music. I think that Huga is all about celebrating the beauty of everyday life. So make sure to make your home a place where you can fully relax and feel safe and comfortable. My last Scandi style home idea is especially for someone who loves Scandi designs but looks for slightly different aesthetics. 
Japandi refers to Scandinavian design combined with Japanese aesthetics to create a style that brings together the best of both worlds. These two countries are far away from each other, but they share some common design philosophies and aesthetics. They both admire the value of craftsmanship, praise the clean lines, celebrate the beauty of natural materials, and embrace imperfections. I couldn't ignore the Japanese style trend, in other words, east meets west, from every corner of the Stockholm Furniture Life Fair to many showrooms in the city. For example, Menu, a Danish design brand, launched a new lighting line called Hashira Collection, and it's inspired by traditional Japanese washi paper makers. You can see the lamp goes perfect in Scandi style setting spaces. I felt that this Japanese style or East meets West trend is quite popular at the moment alongside Wabi Sabi style so I want to go deeper these two styles in another video soon. I hope you get some new inspiration to decorate your Scandinavian style home. Do your thoughts about Scandinavian style home align with my design ideas? Please let me know, I'm very curious about it. If you find this video helpful or interesting, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you very soon. Bye!